to win battles in Panzer Corps II, you don't necessarily need to destroy all enemy units outright. In fact, it's more beneficial to force enemy units to surrender. When a unit surrenders, it is destroyed on the spot, and you get a significant prestige reward. Plus, capture all undamaged enemy equipment, which can then be used to raise your own units. How do you force a unit to surrender? First of all, you need to understand retreat mechanics. When a unit is overwhelmed in combat, it will try to flee. More specifically, a unit will retreat when two-thirds of its unsuppressed strength are killed. This means that heavily suppressed units are much more likely to retreat. You can use units like artillery and strategic bombers, and also encirclements to achieve such heavy suppression. Retreat is similar to normal movement, and also consumes movement points, and is no longer possible when movement points are exhausted, or when there's no vacant hex to go to. What will happen if a unit cannot retreat? This is when it will surrender instead. From this, we can learn two basic methods to force surrenders. First, cut off all routes of retreat with your own units. Split mechanic helps a lot here. Second, push enemies to use difficult terrain where they will use up all of their movement points at once. Rivers are a good example. Note that retreating unit will try to avoid zone of control of enemy units, so you can precisely direct the retreat where you want. In the previous Tactical Advisor clip, we've learned about entrenchment. As long as a unit has entrenchment above base level, shown in green in the UI, it will refuse to retreat or surrender. This is another reason why entrenchment is so important. Fortunately, you already know how to deal with it.